How's it going today? My name is Miles and I'm going to show you a 10 acre property in Central Oregon. It's located in Deschutes County. I'll talk a little bit about it while we roll through these photos. Um, Deschutes County is probably one of the hotter markets that we work in in terms of real estate. It's hard to come across a good land deal and it's a pretty diverse um, you know, terrain. And so the area that we have this property in is gonna be high desert, uh, flat, 360 views, extremely rural. It's just south of Highway 20. I'm gonna pull it up on Google Earth and show you what I'm looking at. In the meantime, this is going to be listed with Wilco Land LLC. We have owner carry options available, seller financing starting at 5% down on these properties. Um, our website's wilcolandllc.com. Um, you can give me a call to chat more about this and I will continue this video. Um, showing you a little bit more about the property, just talking um, about what we see, we're sight unseen investors. And for this piece of land, there's no well, there's no, you know, I don't know where the closest power line is, it's dirt road access, and um, there's no septic either. So it's just totally a, a raw piece of dirt, you know, 10 acres, to Deschutes County, um, which is a big distinguishing factor. Um, that's a hot, you know, county for real estate. Um, and showing you a little bit more on Google Earth about this. So it's just south, like I said, of Highway 20. You can get on Google Earth. We'll have this file on our website. We'll have zoning. Um, it's EFU. And we'll have a link where you can read about it, um, about the zoning and different you know, uses, conditional, permitted, whatnot. Um, so there's a Dry River Canyon. And again, we are in the high desert here. Um, I look at a property like this, you know, recreational, um, something to camp on the weekends. Looks like somebody's using some properties here. Um, you know, it could be taking that hobby outside of your backyard and, and putting it on 10 acres, right? And there is an address to this property. It's off Fort Rock Road. So you're going to want to maybe download this file and potentially, and you can see that here. So the address right here, and I'm going to get rid of those. So we can see that this is probably, once you hop off 20 here, and this is pretty cool too. If you didn't know this feature existed when you're in the land search, um, from the comfort of your home, uh, you get a pretty darn good idea of a property, for example. So um, just a quick feature I wanted to show you there. And you can see um, it looks like, yeah, there is some sort of access route here. And that's why I find Google Earth so helpful. And that's, you know, some of these tools allow us to invest in this real estate uh, from an offsite location, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to find an access point off Highway 20. And that looks to be it. Next thing you're gonna do, um, next thing I might do if I was gonna go look at this, hey, you know, it might not be well marked when I go out there. There might not be survey markers. You know, what's my distance? That's pretty obvious you're turning, but you're going about a thousand yards there. Um, the next place I wanna show you is, um, sorry, I gotta zoom in. Eyesight's obviously bad. So it looks like these dirt roads meander through here and, and heck, you could probably access it via that way, but you turn on Fort Rock Road, um, you get some of this, uh, almost looks like there's some tracks being blazed back here. And the distance to get um, back to the straighter area is about 400 yards. So again, you're just kind of thinking, you know, four football fields in your head, right? Um, once you get off this um, curve or turn, it's kind of a straight shot to the property. Um, another 600 yards. So again, what I'm using is this ruler tool um, to show that. And um, like I said, this is rural, um, get creative, right? You know, is it bringing your horses out there? Is it camping, having a bonfire on the weekend? You know, something like that. Um, whatever it may be, a long-term investment, leaving it for the kids someday, grandkids. Um, these are all great reasons. People invest in land. We've sold a few properties out here. People like them. Um, people use them for various reasons. Some want to develop off-grid properties and, and other people just want to buy a uh, land investment. So again, we're looking at Central Oregon, Deschutes County. Um, this is not too far from Bend, Oregon. And again, Milliken not showing up on the map here. But Miles at Wilco Land, give me a call if you have questions, 605-250-1256.